guess Tom, I guess we'll start there. What do you know about uh, Jack at this point, and obviously, what? How much did his injury just sort of throw off the entire game plan tonight? Yeah, you know, it uh, obviously um, hurt us without question. He did a great job while he was in there. Uh, don't know yet. They did do an X-ray right afterwards, and that came back negative. But uh, I'm gonna need to do an MRI to find out more uh, ligament-wise um, what's what's the injury is. It's obviously, he's in a lot of pain right now. So. Um, but uh, don't know, don't know yet on that. But uh, yeah, definitely without him in there, um, it just wasn't wasn't quite the same. Tom, Tom I, I'm sure in all the thousands of hours you spent thinking about what the season was going to play out like, there, there was never a time where you thought you would need Grant Grimmel to play <laughs> important minutes against Ohio State. And, um, and, what was the, the you know what was going on there with uh, Donovan too? Was there a reason uh, injury wise, or would you just decide to use both of those guys? Well, so um, basically, you know, Grant's taking some reps in practice, um, but uh, you know, just there were some times it felt like Donovan was a little bit you know rattled, you know, and just kind of getting calmed down, and, and uh, just wanted to see you know him progress through that. So obviously, he did some positive things, but. But uh, so Grant obviously was a guy that can throw the ball, but uh, yeah, I never that was never a thought going into the season, you know. So, but uh, you know, you got starters down and your number two goes down, and then now you got one one scholarship quarterback left, you know, healthy, and that's Donovan. So you just gotta gotta battle, gotta mix man up, you know. So yeah, not not necessarily at all what any of us expected for sure. I guess in some ways, and I know guys will want to sort of say they're they're keeping focus forward, putting things behind them. But I guess is is there any sort of added challenge in the expectations these guys had for themselves this year, and and maybe picking them up from games like this when it, maybe the I don't know if the the right word is the fall is a little bit further than they, you know, because they expected so much more of themselves. I guess. I think that's fair. I mean, I think that's that's a realistic challenge without question. Um, but I also feel like that, uh, you know, um, just by the way the guys, you just listen to them talk um, to each other on the sideline at halftime, you know, um, you know, that's just, we don't have a choice. You know, it's not any, any, anywhere close to where any of us thought it was going to be. Uh, but uh, at the same time, you know, um, I, I, I'm proud of our guys for, Staying together, and uh, and I think that's what they're going to continue to do. But yeah, I think the challenges are, are there for sure. And uh, but you know what? I mean, that's you know, LEO is our is our foundation, and it's about accountability, toughness, and love. When things are going your way, and when things are not. And right now, the injuries continue to mount, and uh, the disappointments have continued. And so um, you got to be able to fall back on who you are and, and what you are made of internally. And so uh, that accountability, that toughness is, is paramount at this point. So that isn't going to change. And it's as tough as tonight was, it's one that we just have to put in the trash and press on. You know, it's a pretty special football team that we just played tonight offensively. I, I've been here for several years, and it's, it's uh, with that quarterback playing the way he is right now, um, it's it's impressive. So they've got uh, a lot of talent, without question, and, and uh, you saw a lot of it tonight. Yeah, uh, Tom, I was going to ask about, you know, just not having Taiwan and uh, Reese for the second straight game, how much did that compromise the pass defense a little bit? And uh, also, did you expect a little more defensively given how the defense had played and kept you guys in game? Yeah, you know, I, I expected us to play better. I did. I was concerned, you know, uh, to say that uh, ha not having Reese and Taiwan, I would say it makes a major difference in our defense. Um, especially against those receivers. And it really modified the way we felt like we had to play, uh, kind of knowing. We knew we were going to have Reese at all uh, after late in the week, and then we were hoping to have Taiwan more, but uh, that did not end up not being the case. So uh, they are progressing. Um, hopefully next week they'll be able to both be able to go. But, but uh, without, a, without a doubt, that, that has a major impact on the, what you do schematically against these guys. And so... Um, yeah, it just really compounded the problem, in my opinion. So, but that's uh, you try to adjust and adapt to your guys and give them a chance to be successful, and 
And uh, but it really came down to not getting pressure on him. You know, that's really what kind of caused I think the biggest issues. And and uh, you try to do different types of ways of creating that and and try to do some just other things that we had. You know, we felt like would give us a chance. But uh, you know, they they picked a lot of those things up and did, they did a good job of that. So um, yeah, it was uh, those guys are a big a big part of our defense. There's no question about it. Tom, I know that not having an offense that's in flow uh, affects this as well, but. You ended up rushing just for 1.3 yards a night versus their 5.8. Uh, and then on a per play basis, it was almost eight yards per play that uh, they were giving up. What, did you see anything that was, obviously they're a better team, as you said, they're very good, but anything else they were doing special to, to really gash like that? Yeah, I mean, I, I just, uh, uh, to me, the biggest problem I think was, you know, I was most disappointed in our tackling in the first half. To me, that was really what I didn't expect at all and in our run defense. You know, I do get it. You know, when you do some things, you know, with vision, you're trying to create um, and not give up the explosive plays um, in the past game. Um, and I think that's, you know, if I go back and you look at it, I think maybe too much emphasis on that, you know, and just sometimes just got to live with it. But I was def definitely very concerned about that with our injuries that we had with our corners and, and the lack of even some depth at our stages because of some previous injuries as well. So I just felt like that, that uh, you know, we, we can maybe hold up and not be able to give up those explosive plays and still stop the run. And I think that's probably where uh, the, 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 the problem was created. Um, and then you just pretty much, um, we weren't good enough against the run. I mean, because if you didn't stop the run, then you just kind of really makes it hard because you know, they're still getting those pass plays as well. So um, yeah, it was just, uh, it was ugly. That's really the only way I, yeah, that's the best way. That's the best way to describe it. It was just, uh, it was painful. Um, just especially that, that, that second quarter window was just, it was just not good, you know. And, and uh, but yeah, it just, I think, like you said, you, when you start to play a more, keep things in front of your approach, you know, to me, we just got to be more aggressive and uh, preach that way. If they throw it over your head, they throw it over your head. So be it. Uh, Donovan only had six pass attempts. Is he just not quite ready for you to, to yeah, I think Jordan. there's definitely some concern of him just being ready for that. I mean, it's got to grow for sure. It's got to expand without a, without a doubt. Uh, but I think just not wanting to put him in a, a bad spot, you know, to, to get back there and have to make some complex reads. I think that was kind of the, the thought process. And, and so you, you kind of have a plan going in, you know, to be able to allow him to really focus on those small things, you know, throughout the week. And then when Jack goes out so early, it was really kind of – it really kind of – put us in a, a position that we really didn't want to be in. And that's what, once again, kind of goes back to why we play Grant more. And, and just because, you know, you have a guy like Don who just had, has not been here, didn't here last spring, not here over, you know, just over things that you did during fall camp and, and working as a, you know, you just didn't have enough reps, to be honest with you. And I think that's a, a part of it that we got to obviously address. And you've tried to get that. We tried to focus on some certain things he could do from a, from a run pass read perspective and RPO options. And, and so um, that's, that was kind of the, the, a little bit a way to protect him in some ways, you know, with those you know, complex drop back reads. And so obviously Grant's been here quite a bit longer and knows him knows him way better. So that was the reason why we used him in those situations. So, but obviously he's going to have to, based on what happens with Jack, you know, uh, we'll have to come up with a, you know, expanded plan for him without question. Yeah, coach, I, I noticed a lot of the starters on defense were still out there well into the fourth quarter. Was that, you know, a decision by you or the players? You did, did they didn't want to come out. Yeah. Yeah. That was predominantly, and, and still, I, you know, I, at the same time, we've got a lot, a lot of positions. We don't have a lot more guys left, you know, in some of those spots. And so, uh, but they didn't want to come out, you know, even, even, uh, you know, I was having a little bit of a discussion with one of them about, I wanted to take him out. He didn't want to come out, you know, so, and I, again, I respect that. I appreciate that, but that was probably the biggest reason, you know. Awesome. Have a great night. Elio.